Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do some mid-side processing on a piece of audio that sounds much like this. Right, and this is a good example because it has a lot of mid information and side information. I'm going to kind of explain what that is. So we're going to drop in yeah, uh, our EQ. So there's different ways to process audio. This is a stereo track, and uh, with our EQ here how it's set with the mode in stereo is you can adjust both the left and right at the same time and sweep the frequency spectrum and stuff like that. You can change that to left, right. So you can edit the left and the right independently. Um, so you can basically split it up that way. You can also separate it to mid and side I'm going to give you a good example of what that is. Basically, you're taking the sum of the left and right, and whatever is different, you push out to the side, stereo, and whatever is the same, you have directly in the middle. Um, I'll give you a better example of what that is, and you know, get into what I'm going to be creating here. So I'm going to add in a utility. I'm going to right-click on it. I'm going to select Group. I'm going to open the little thing to create a chain or to, to see the chain, and I'm going to add another uh, utility, right? So I'm going to name this one, oops, I'm going to name this one, rename, name this to mid, and I'm going to right click, I'm just right clicking just to show you, name this one to side. So effectively the signal's coming in and it's being split into each of these equally, and they're both being uh, put at unity gain, and I can, you know, go in here and add things to the chain. So this one is mid. So mid is basically mono, and I'm going to solo that for you. Mid is what happens when you take the width and you bring it all the way down to zero. That's taking the sum of the left and right and mashing them together, and whatever is the same, the same of the left and right is kept, and whatever is different is tossed out the window, right? And uh, that sounds like this. Right, and that is now mono. I recommend that you listen with headphones so you can kind of hear what's going on. I'm going to solo this one. This is going to be the side material. And I'm going to turn that up to 200. So that takes the sum of the left and the right. And whatever is different, it keeps. And whatever is the same, they throw out. So it's kind of the opposite thing going on. And with both of these together, sum together into this output somewhere over here, we have our what sounds like our original signal. So I'll just turn this on and off so you can hear it in theory. And this is the side material. I should, I should give you an example of that. That's the side material. And this is the mono material. So once you, so once you are here, you can process those independently. It's effectively ripped it apart mathematically. So you're not EQing left and right, uh, high end or low end. You're kind of splitting it in a different way. And back in the day, you would need an encoder to do this, and it would be very expensive. But now I just, you know, some idiot in a toque can just right click and do the same thing. It's kind of fascinating. Anyway, what I want to do is I want to process the mid and the side independently, right? So I'm going to add a, a compressor here, and I want it to kind of just ride the audio. Nothing, nothing too complicated, but I just want to, you know, do something to it. Give, up, give myself a readout here. Give it a nice attack. Go to 3 to 1. Turn off makeup gain. Give it a bit more uh, punch, just on the mid, and uh, yeah, we will figure that out. One thing you can do is you can 
uh, EQ, or not EQ, you can balance these out with these. Anyway, so I'm going to go to our side, and I'm just trying to figure out what should I do with the side. Um, I'm going to put a gate on it. I'm going to put a gate, and I'm going to create a side chain input for the mid. I'm going to go post effects. I'm going to add an EQ in the detection circuit, which is why I like to call it. So there's that little guy here. I'm going to boost the Q. All right, it's a little obnoxious, but it's just to accentuate what the kind of detection can work with. Oops, turn that off. All right, so I have a gate that's being, the gate on the side material being triggered by the mid which is kind of fun. And if at all you've lost me, just go back and rewatch it. You'll, you'll get it, I swear. All right, and they have that. So what does that sound like all together? It sound too. Okay, so there's that. Let's go. Hmm, what else? One thing we can do is we can actually EQ it now, just the side, and we don't have to set it to mid-side. It automatically does that, saving a bit of processing. Not that much, though. Oops. Really? Well, maybe we do have to have it set. To, that's interesting. The side material doesn't show up in the analyzer. I wonder why. That's interesting. Anyway. This will clear up the low end, fixing maybe some phase issues. All right, and then uh, this we can kind of do something similar. So we have that. Let's check them all together. Yeah, that gate doesn't really work, does it? So here it is off. Um, and uh, yeah, basically there you have it. And then from there you can add stuff on the end and you have that in a enclosed chain. And uh, off to the races. So yeah, I hope you learned stuff. Uh, take care and uh, happy mid-side processing.